Welcome to Black and Gold Today, brought to you by Ray Brandt Infinity. I'm Rachel Whitaker. In the words of Drew Brees, the Saints couldn't be playing for more at Chicago. Anyway. And today, Sean Payton immediately shot down two reports. First, is Kenny Vaccaro being benched? Well, I'd say there's two things. Uh, it's inaccurate. It's one report that's been picked up by a multiple amount of people. Um, I would say it's inaccurate. He's going to play a ton for us. You know, the role he plays, uh, I'll leave it at that. But um, I would I would say it's very inaccurate. He, we're, we're going to need him to play and play well, and he's going to obviously be a huge factor for us in this game. Uh, so uh, the idea that we're putting him on the bench is, is a little silly. Then, would Peyton himself step away after this season? So it wasn't a report. Peter King <laughs> offered his 10 things he thinks. It's silly. Uh, won't happen. Well, no, listen, I'm not going to bite your head off. It's just you've got to consider the source. Why do you say that? <laughs> For obvious reasons. <laughs> it's a, absolutely no way. Vaccaro came in the locker room with a new haircut and a spring in his step, saying he's glad Peyton talked to him this week. Whenever you get a talk like that and you get, you get, you get, a, you get some newfound energy, it's been a long season, um, you kind of get that dog back in you, like you're starting from square one, you know. He's right though, man. I've, uh, I've made too many costly mistakes this year that i got to get corrected. i gotta, I got to keep growing at the safety position. Um, it's all new for me. Uh, last year I played a lot of nickel, pretty much straight nickel. So it's all this stuff's new, and, uh, but I gotta, I gotta be better, man. I gotta be better for the team. I'll introduce you to a new Saints receiver right after this. In the fraction of time we spend driving in reverse, about half a million accidents occur each year, which is why the Infiniti QX60 has world's first safety technology available, like backup collision intervention, which can break even before you do, to help keep everyone safe. Welcome back. Sean Payton said releasing receiver Joe Morgan was best for us. And in his place, rookie Shontavious Jones was promoted to the active roster. Jones said he was actually at Waffle House when he got the news. They called me. I actually was headed to Waffle House. He get a waffle when they called me. <laughs> told me to come meet with the coach. And then after I got the news, I just couldn't stop smiling. I'm still smiling. Smiling all day. At the, at the uh, Waffle House? Is that where yeah, you? I was smiling at the Waffle House too. Right. Usually I always took it every day as if I was on the active roster, so it's really no difference. I guess it's just a, a, a pay increase or something, but, you know, I always work hard and felt like I was on the active roster. Breeze said it was hard to see Joe Morgan go, but Jones is, quote, young and hungry. I'm so excited for the opportunity that he now has, and I think it, it sends a great message, and that is there's a lot of guys that have come through this program and started off on practice squad or started off as third, fourth string, you know, kind of last guy on the roster, so to speak, and have just continued to work and have had that vision and that intelligence to know that, man, if I, if I work hard and I listen and I'm coachable and I do the right things, that my opportunities will come, and it's coming for Sean Tavis now. Always, I'll be always be there for Joe, but I, I think as we look forward, you think about okay, who, who are the guys we do have? Who are the guys that we're trying to get ready to play? And um, you know, unfortunately, that's part of the game sometimes. That's all from Saints Camp. Join us tomorrow for Fridays with Fox 8 and one more look at Chicago. Thanks for watching.